Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome back to The Correct Views. Sam I. B. reporting for The Media Speaks. Make sure you check out TheMediaSpeaks.com. Time is here. Drum roll, excitement, the Dunn's Cap of the Freaking Month Award is here. For those of you that may not know, the Dunn's Cap of the Award goes out to only the stupidest. I mean the most idiotic. I mean when you read it, and I read probably hundreds of articles a month to do this show, when you read the one that you just know is dumber than all of the rest, they and they alone get the Dunce Cap of the Month Award, and that's why you clicked, isn't it? Oh yeah. Uh, before I go on, I want to give a shout out uh, to Big Brothers and Sixers, and I also want to give a shout out to the Charity Connection, uh, Dana Mobley Christ, a woman who has done much for those who have had cancer, and uh, now she in fact herself has cancer, so do make sure you donate. I'm going to be doing a DJ-a-thon for her last weekend of May, so make sure you tune into that. But I know why you tuned into this. Who got it this month? Month. Who got? Who got the Dunce Cap of the Month award? Here it is. Sun Trust Bank. Listen to this heap of moronicness. Moronicness. I need my own hat. Um, GlobalResearch.ca. Listen to this, guys. All jokes aside. These kinds of articles make me furious. These are the pieces of human garbage that make life worse, worse for everyone. These are the people that diminish the quality of life for just about everybody that, in this regard, that they do business with. Hundreds of poor people waiting outside of a closed grocery store for the possibility of getting the remaining food is not the picture of the American dream. Yet on March 23rd, outside Laney Walker's supermarket in Augusta, Georgia, and that's where this is being sent to, that is exactly what happened. Well, it's being sent to SunTrust Bank. We'll get to that. Residents filled the parking lot, it says, with bags and baskets, hoping to get some of the baby food, canned goods, noodles, and other non-perishables for you Kesha fans. That means doesn't spoil. But a local church never came to pick up the food, as the store owner prior to the eviction said they had arranged. By the time that the people showed up for the food, what was left inside the premises, as with any eviction came under the ownership and property holder of this month's Dunce Cap of the Month Award winner, Sun Trust Bank. The bank ordered the food to be loaded into dumpsters and hauled to a landfill instead of distributed. The people that gathered had to be restrained by police as they saw perfectly good food destroyed. Local Sheriff Richard Roundtree told the news a potential for a riot was extremely high. Also, the people are wrong because they might have rioted. If any, you know what, for those of you that don't know, before I go on in this article, everyone that's won, and I'm going to start posting them, as Christelle mentioned, I'm going to start going ahead and posting them every month so that you can see whoever whoever is the stupidest is going to get the much coveted dunce cap of the year award and these guys I'm telling you Sun Trust Bank you're in it to win it <clears throat> people got children out here that are hungry and thirsty a local resident Robert Steen Lambert told Fox 54 in Augusta why throw it away when you could be issuing it out there is the golden question. SunTrust Bank is trying to confuse the issue and not take direct responsibility for their actions, and no surprise. Their media relations officer, Mike McCoy, stated, We are working with store suppliers as well as law enforcement 
to dispose of the remaining contents of the store and secure the building. Yeah, secure it from hungry people. Yet he also said that the food never belonged to SunTrust Bank. No. There is no need to sugarcoat what happened. It, Teresa Russell, chief deputy of the Marshal's office in Richmond County, said the owner of the building ordered the food to be taken to a landfill. Some people even followed the truck to the landfill and were still turned away. Everyone knows when an eviction happens. and I mean, they could have said, hey, you know what? This isn't our food. We can't necessarily promise that nothing happened to it, but it's canned. It's a non-perishable. We're going to let you have it. But no, not the benevolent people at SunTrust Bank. In Richmond County, there are about 20 evictions per day, and the area surrounding the supermarket is one of the poorest in the state. According to the last available data, the property rate, the poverty rate is 41%, and many people in that parking lot probably knew all too well how evictions work and were in desperate need of food assistance. This story is not some bizarre exception, and the rest of it you will have to go and look up for yourself at globalresearch.ca American Dream food loaded into dumpsters while hundreds of hungry Americans are restrained by police. SunTrust Bank, congratulations for making everybody's life just a little bit more miserable. Uh, my printer is out of ink, but they will have their freshly designed and probably handmade award to them very soon. In the meantime, let me tell them. Uh, I'm sure you're going to click on this. Somebody's going to click on there. SunTrust Bank. Why don't you go ahead and make sure this video finds a few of the more well-to-do people. I'm a libertarian. Nobody watching this begrudges you one penny that you've earned if you earned it legally and without maliciousness, and most of you probably did. Having said that, how greedy can you people possibly be to do this to one of the poorest communities in the state? You are one of the reasons that our world is slowly turning into a very self-centered, miserable place. And that is why you win the much coveted Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Here it is for all of you to see. Look at the pretty sun. Look at that sun. Oh, yeah. Sun Trust Bank. This is coming to you in the mail. The Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Friends, sending these caps out, uh, the highest one so far has been $50. Sending these out to people does cost your donations are the only reason that I can afford to send these. So do me a favor, do what Barbie Backwards did and donate to the correct views. Who is Barbie Backwards? Go on Facebook, you will find her. I'll give you a hint. She's beautiful! Good night, friends. God bless and thanks for listening to the correct views.